Well, if you watched my previous video, you know that the sat on eye here, the first one I put on, lasted about a month before it failed. This is the replacement eye, and it's been on a little bit more than a month. And you can even see I got condensation here, uh, wetness, but it still seems to be working okay, so I think I got this sealed. So I'm going to continue on and replace the driver board with the accelerometer version. And currently here I have the RV version without accelerometer installed and I'm going to be replacing that with the version with the accelerometer. So I'm going to remove the four screws out of this one and put the new one in. So here we have the new driver board installed and we have the level centered. It's centered here and it's centered here. So now the next thing to do is drive this down the road and try and find some place to park it and see if I can level it. So here's our first test uh, and we're uh, taking off and uh, as we watch the accu level on the bottom which is the mechanical level with the ball uh, we can compare that to the salon eye uh, at the top and it looks like right here we're showing green and we're showing level on the accu level now as we're turning the corner you can see the accu level goes to the left but the salon eye goes to the right however other than that it's working and of course, as you know, that's really a simple fix. All I have to do is to open the box up and remove the one direction jumper. And then the LED and the ball will move in the same direction. And that's what I've done here. As you can see now, the LED and the ball uh, move in the same direction. Although it's kind of hard to see, maybe because it was raining that day and it was kind of a mess. However, the other issue I ran across is one of damping. And the best way I can describe that is if you go down, say, like a washboard road, then this thing's going to bounce all around where the ball is dampened in the fluid and it's much smoother. And in fact, as you're watching this, you may see this hit the other side a couple times uh, because I get into a dip in the road or something like that. And a ball won't show that because it's damping. Now we can fix that by going into the software and changing the dampening. But maybe you don't want to fix it because you're not going to really go down a washboard road with this thing on like I'm doing with this test. You, you probably don't really need to change the dampening unless you really want to. But I'll show you how you can do it if you do. Well, this is the part of the code that actually reads the accelerometer. And basically what this does is we have a sample size that is 10. This comes down here. This reads the output of the accelerometer 10 times and then divides it by 10 and returns an average. So to dampen it, all we have to do is change this from 10 to 100 or to 1,000 even. And because the longer or the more number of reads that it takes, then the more dampening that it'll have. So one way is to change the sample size. And I'll show you how that's done. And, but the other way is also to just to put a delay in. And so and put in delay. Like that. And what that does is this is in milliseconds so every time it does a reading it will delay for one millisecond before it takes the next reading and that would have the same effect so now if we go up and look at the sample size right here you see the sample size is 10 and if we change that to 100 then it would of course take 100 samples so either way that's how we can change the dampening if you really want to and i would say first don't change the damping. Try it without it, and then if you find that you need to, then go ahead and do it. And again, I should talk about sensitivity. Now, in this first example, you may recall that in a previous video, I set the offset value to a divide by 2, which gives me about 1.75 degrees per digit. So if you see the nine LEDs up here, we have the center LED, 
plus four LEDs on this side, four LEDs on that side, which corresponds to the center point here, four LEDs here, and four LEDs here. So in reality, the span of this, when using the divide by two on the sensitivity, pretty much equates to this scale with these large hash marks. Well, unfortunately, that does not give me the resolution that I want. But if I go back to the original sensitivity, which is removing the divide by two, that changes the sensitivity from about 1.75 degree per digit down to 0.875 degrees per digit. Now these four LEDs correspond to these four small hash marks, which means we actually have a little bit more of a compressed range, but we have a little more sensitivity. So it all depends on where you want to be sensitivity wise. If you want something a little more sensitive, use the one line. If you want something to expand the full scale, then of course you're going to want to divide by two. However, just the caveat is that, you know, you could be off a degree and a half before this is going to show on the next LED. So in reality, we don't really have to choose between one sensitivity and the other to program into our box. Remember, we have five functions in the rotary switch. We have a hitch light, we have a leveler, we have a red Cylon eye, a green Cylon eye, and a demo that does, you know, the uh, marquee and the rainbow and all that stuff. Well, since we're under software, we can change that, the function of that five position switch to have the hitch light as before. But now we can have a leveler that's high sensitive which is the, you know, 0.875 degrees per uh, LED. Or we can have the leveler number two, which is the lower sensitive, which is the divide by two one, drop down to one Cylon eye, and you can choose red or green or whatever you want, and then a demo with all the other functions. So this is the, the beauty of this system, is you can go into software and make these kind of changes that would be very, very expensive back in the days when all we had was hardware. So this is kind of probably what I would recommend doing. And I'll show you that where you can do that in the software. So now we want to go back to our spirit level in our sketch. And we really want to use the spirit level function for both sensitivities. We don't want to have to redo everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass this an argument. And an argument is just a variable. So we're going to call it an integer. And let's just call it, say, uh, sense level. Okay. So now we can come down to where we set our sensitivity. And we can say if sense, if sense level equals, and in C, you have to use the double equal, one, then run this line else we would run this line so every time this function is executed if sense level equals one it's going to run this line which is going to be the 1.75 degree per digit if this is anything but one then it's going to execute this one, which is the higher sensitivity. So now we go to the original mode switch. And so we've kind of done that with the Cylon Eye. If you go back and look at all the code, this is red and this is green. So we want to get rid of one of these. So mode number two is what we want to replace. So we're going to remark that out. And now we can change this to one if we want it to be red, but as it is now, it'll be two, which is green. Then what we want to do is we want to copy this and paste it in our next line. Change this to two and then make this zero and make this one. Now we don't have to use zero. We can use any number but one, but we have to use the number here or we'll get an error. So again, the way this is going to work now is if the mode switch is in 
zero, which is in the extreme counterclockwise position, we're going to get the hitch light. If we go up to mode switch one, we're going to get the spirit level with a zero argument. If it's mode switch in position two, we're going to get the spirit level with a one argument. And then mode three, we'll get the Cylon nine, and mode four, we'll get the demo. And again, we go back down to spirit level. And that zero or one will actually replace this. And then as it comes down, and we'll ask what level it is. And if it's one, it's going to do this. But since it's zero, it's going to do this. So again, that's going to allow us to have the spirit level in two different sensitivities. So uh, we can just add a little note here if we want to. This is high sensitivity. And then uh, we could just say low, low sensitivity. That's how you can make the change and allow you to have two different sensitivities. Well, at the risk of never ending this project, it seems like I keep thinking of ideas. And the next idea that I have for going further is to combine the two sensitivities of this LED so that we can replicate all eight divisions. And the way to do that is to turn the green LED on when you're center. And then once you get to the first division, leave the green LED on and turn the first red LED on. And then when you get to the second division, turn the green one off, but leave the red one on. And as you go to the next one, you leave that red one on and you turn the next red one on. So, you know, it's sort of kind of like an inchworm. And so on, and that'll give you up to eight divisions here, which will correspond to the eight divisions here. But I can't do that right now because the only prototype that I have is installed in the RV. And so I'm going to have to build another prototype because it's much, much easier to do this on my workbench. So I'm going to actually call this project closed. And then in a couple months, I'll have a few enhancements that you can do if you want, but it's not going to increase the functionality. It may just change how easy it may be to use. So in other words, instead of using two different position switches for a low and high sensitivity, I can combine them both into one. So remember, just go to the website, rv-project.com, and uh, just look for any future changes.